Hello all, Shoestring here. I have ordered a lithium battery from China. <gasps> I know, I talk about bad about lithium all the time because they're overpriced. But after doing some research, as you can see I'm opening the box now, you can get a look at it. Just the box it arrived in. It opens up and it has some instructions energy storage battery and see what's inside the box hopefully of course what's inside the box is a battery so we'll take a little time here see what we have that looks like a charger which they gave us free they said there is a five amp charger which is a slow charger and a 10 amp charger and when you buy one of these you get the five amp charger for free so, let's see what we have here. Okay, it took me just a moment. Two hands, so I had to set the camera down to get the battery out. But it was extremely well packed. And for a 12-volt battery compared to AGM or just a regular leaded battery, it is pretty light. I can lift it with one hand fairly easily. It is, of course, a fly power. It's a lithium-ion battery deep cycle, high efficiency, and it is a 12 volt, as you can see here, and 100 amp hour. I am going to test this because it only cost me, plus shipping and everything, all total, $468. Yeah, Shoestring had to save up for a little while to get that thing. But... If you buy an AGM or a really high level of gel battery, it will cost you pretty close to that anyway. So we have a negative. It looks like it has a bolt there. We're going to take a look at that. Another bolt. All right, let's talk about first impressions. The case and everything seems fairly well made. Not much in form of instructions. You look over on the side, let me move that around for you. You have your off and on switch for lithium batteries. Maybe you can see there the light came on, turns red, so it might be hard for the camera to see. Unfortunately, the state of charge when this arrived was only 11 Point nine, And I was somewhat hoping it would be a fully charged battery, but it was not. They did send along this battery charger right here that I have hooked up to the wall. And I'm going to charge it overnight. Well, charge it till the light turns green, as the instructions say. And then we'll see how it works. So, appears to be well made. I'll have to look at these connections to see if what type does this screw actually come off. Can I put a regular car cable on this? Take a look and see what I can do and what works. All right, we'll let this charge all the way up and then I'll let you know what happens next. So after all last night, my battery did end up charging entirely to 13.9. So this morning I began to run a test on how much power it will pull. We're going to start slowly and see how long, how well it does. So what I've done is I've hooked up, as you can see right there, the battery is hooked up to one of my inverters. And at the moment it is plugged into a laptop. The laptop won't pull much, but it will pull a little, and we'll be able to see in this test just a little draw how long it will take. When I tested it again with my multimeter, which will be a little different than what the battery actually says, it says 13.7. If we can get lithium batteries actually from China, and we don't have to pay the high expense of buying them from an American distributor, which, of course, you have to remember, all the cells for all these batteries come from Asia anyway. So it's not like we're giving up American jobs for Chinese ones, because shoestring just doesn't look that way. So if you like these type of videos, then they're helpful. 
Please, of course, subscribe, click that notification button, and like. Shoestring out.